Hello everyone, welcome to Global Online Trainings. Today we are going to discuss about a ServiceNow training and how the Global Online Trainings is going to deal with this uh, training. Before that, if you want to enroll for the session, you have to email us on, e on info at globalonlinetrainings.com or you can Skype at global.onlinetrainings or you can e directly give a call to us at plus 9140605014 well going in detail about ServiceNow training let us have a view on a global online trainings global online trainings to give an overview global online trainings is a leading training services corporization specialization in providing online trainings and corporate trainings to individual and enterprises our high quality competitive and effective training services makes us best in this field our professional team carries an ex excellent instructional experience through many years and undergo the complexity of the technologies and method of training delivery. We provide the training with the subject matter exp experts who has a good experience in their primary skills in all technologies for online trainings and corporate trainings. We provide training for the below technologies such as SAP, in SAP, we provide both technical as well as the functional modules, Oracle modules, SAS all modules, IBM tools, middleware tools, Microsoft applications, web technologies and other technologies too. Let us have a look on the service training interaction, service now training interaction. Uh, service now training by Global Online Trainux offers an industry aligned and a comprehensive catalog of instruction lead and an online training program including a real world scenarios to give its user a practice experience about the service now administration this online service now training is conducted by a best online tutors and they provide the participants about the service now training framework on an interactive virtual platform where students can feel the hang of a regular classes all the classes are planned in a flexi timing mode and designed for on-job professionals so that participants can join the classes without hampering their regular schedule. Call the help desk today to know more about ServiceNow training as a platform as a service provider of the enterprise service management software. ServiceNow developer Stimulate is used globally to define, organize and mechanize the follow flow of work, removing the dependencies on emails and spreadsheet to convert the delivery and service management for the enterprises. ServiceNow training offers service management for every department in an enterprise including the human resources, IT, facilities, etc. Due to its global demand services, now trained professionals are enjoying an excellent prospect of building a professional career. In global online training service, Best Care has taken to plan and offer all encompassing services now online training program. Service now admin training is rendered by the best subject matter experts and the tutorials prepared by the expert industry aligned in the aligned tutors are made with the latest industry updates classes are available for the individual as well as for corporate batches on demand call the help desk for more information for online service now training and its details now let us look on the prerequisite for the service now training what are the prerequisites to learn this course are the system certified system administration administrator is preferred and person should have ability to write test and debug the JavaScripts and the successful completion of code academics like JavaScript code is recommended review the JavaScript premiere familiarities with the database tables and columns is must now let us have a look on service now training course content here are the few topics that we are going to cover in the complete training uh, the first topic here it is introduction to service now training 
where we go with uh, service of navigation, service of applications and models and the uh, and a few information about forms, list and tables. And next coming to the topic 2, it provides the basic forms and list modification and administration where we explain in the personalizing and the creating the forms list and list controls and also the differences between the list forms and fields and depending the choice field creations topic 3 configuring users and groups and administrators here we'll deal with the topics such as users groups roles etc and the tables and columns and columns and administration here we deal with introduction, schema map, creating the tables and adding content to the tables, skipping a field from auditing and recovering the deleted data. A topic 5 deals with an op application and modules and administration. Here we will explain you regarding the creation and modification of the applications and the models and the other related activities to the service now admin. Limited access how to limit the access of applications and modules to a specific set of roles. Topic 8 is to provide an introduction on the different modules. In this way, we include incident, problem, change management and their workflows and the service now developer level management. Change management, here in the change management, we do provide the different types of change requests and their significations along with the change types and respective workflows with the risk assistant plugins and the questionnaire configurations and defining the thresholds and conditions. Approvals, debugging in the workflows and creating a dynamic approvals. Now the topic 8 deals with a service level management where we, de we provide the definition for the service level management and the training conditions along with excluding and including holidays in the schedule. Reporting start using an SAL and SL workflow notification on breach. Service training catalog provides an introduction to item items and catalogs and variables and variable sets along with the record procedures for creating workflows and associating them. Topic 10 deals with an email notification and events. Here we do we go with email notifications and the template utilizations how to inbound and outbound the service property settings and how to debug the mails and descending the issues and also the email notifications through events import sets and transform maps here we deal with a transform maps for auto and manual mapping as well as the scripts to reset inserts and updates Data source creations for FTP, DB, JDBC, LDAP files, etc. like Excel. Utilizing the data sources in the data loads and the scheduled imports. 12th, 12th one is CMDB and discovery. Here we will go with the purpose in the incident and the problems and change request and the CM, CMDB class structure and data loading onto the CMD relationship creations and also the difference way how the data comes into CMD. Topic 13 deals with scripting. Here the scripting promotes and explains the detail in detail about the client side scripting as a client scripts how to write and use it and gives and also give the brief introduction about the UI policies, UI actions and their rules like business rules and golden business rules. How to write and use a script includes update sets. In the update sets we provide interaction, creation, using and creating and retrieving and moving the changes between instances and error skipping and checking advantages along with best practices. Coming to the topic 15, it's about reports pages and home pages here we'll explain you the creating the quick report from list and also the reports gadgets and home pages and how various types of what are the various types of reports and what are their users along with the using the scripts including in the reports scheduling the reports and the report administration coming to the topic six it's an inbound email action where we provide brief introduction about this inbound email actions and coming to the topic 7, it's about the access control rules. And uh, topic eight, 18 is about 
MIT services installations where we provide a brief introduction about this MIT services setup, configurations, running, uh, running MID on ServiceNow and uh, debugging the MID services issues. And the next topic is about SSO and LPAD basics and, pro and process. Here we provide an SSOS consideration and requirement basics along with this property configuration and LPAD service L L LDAP server configurations with the definition data sources and transformation. Now let us have a look on the ServiceNow training outline. Here the program duration is for 35 hours and the mode of training is completely through online and we also deal with the corporate trainings. Coming to the timings, the timings are up to the one's feasibility as the trainees are the working consultants so they can choose the time zone according to their feasibility. System access, we do provide them system access which is working in a very good conditions and any issues regarding the system access can be solved in a very short span of time. Batch type, regular weekends and fast type. Coming to the regular, uh, it depends upon the duration of the codes as you need to attend an everyday one hour session and it completely goes for 35 days to complete the codes. And coming to the weekends, we do provide weekend sessions on Saturdays as well as on Sundays and the three hours on Saturdays and three hours on Sundays which will completely go for four to five weekends to complete this course and the last is a fast track batch this is for a quick learners and a person who want to complete this course in a very short span of time can go for this fast track patches trainees will be get the soft copy materials in the, co in the form of a PDF PPTs or a word document Session will be conducted to WebEx, GoToMeeting or Skype. Global team will help you out by logging in for WebEx and GoToMeeting once you get registered yourself. And the basic requirements are good internet speed and headset, good internet, good internet speed will help you out to go this session in a very well without any technical issues and coming to the headset, it will help you to interact with the trainers very easily and you can ask your queries with the trainer if you have a good headset. Before winding up the session, I would like to show you the ServiceNow landing page. Here is the ServiceNow landing page where you can find the interaction about the ServiceNow and the prerequisites along with the course content and the advantages and also the ServiceNow training overview. I know you all, you all have left with the query how to register for the ServiceNow training. It's not a big deal. You are just finding an option called request a demo on the menu option. You have to just click on that and you have to give the requirements like your name, email, phone number, country and course and just you have to click on send option or else you can even leave a message for us at the pop-up box which is found at the left side of the web page. Here you need to fill the requirements and just click on the send button or else you can directly email us at info at globalonlinetrainings.com or else you can call us to the number provided on the top of the web page this is that is plus nine one four zero six zero five zero one four one eight or and then you can register yourself by providing your exact request now let us go on for whom this Travis now training has been designed this tra uh, training course is designed for the system administrators who are new to the ServiceNow training ecosystems. During this interactive training course, attendees will implement a various system administration functions in their own instance, learning to perform fundamental administrations and configuration tasks, especially attendees will learn to perform core configuration tasks, work with the user interface policies, data policies, UI actions, business rules and client scripts, add user groups and rules and how to manage the tables, the configure management database and import the sets and update sets. Work with the two, two key process applications, one is in basic knowledge and the second one is service now administrator with a service catalog. Create workflow activities and approvals how to configure alerts and notification and to view the upgrade history and status along with the control system access and the data security. 
create a baseline performance matrices, uh, run reports, configure several level agreements and perform the instant branding and customization. The user will also be able to integrate a social ID elements and uh, learn best practices. You can also reach us on www.globalonlinetrainings.com at ServiceNow Trainings or you can also directly email us at globalonlinetrainings.com to register yourself for ServiceNow Online Training. Thank you for spending your valuable time with us. Have a nice day.